Hello everybody, this is John Christopher and coming up we're going to get into the top 10 Microsoft 365 certification exams, which exams you should be focusing on here coming into January 2024. This will be the year you could really change your life on certifications, but what certifications should you get? Well, that's what we're going to get into. So as I move into my number 10, I want to tell you a little bit about this list. This list is going to include mostly Microsoft 365. We got some security coming in here as well because a lot of the security certifications for Microsoft will involve Microsoft 365. I do have one Azure oriented certification and you'll see why that is. And actually that is my number 10, which is going to be the AZ 900. Now, why is the AZ 900 included in this list? Because this is supposed to be for Microsoft 365. Well, because I feel like it's important to have a good foundation of Azure. Azure and Microsoft 365 are connected. Okay. You uh, cannot have Microsoft 365 without Azure. So it's always a great idea to have a fundamental foundation of Azure. Okay. AZ 900 is a very easy, straightforward exam for you to get. You can knock it out uh, real quick. It's a real quick course. You can knock out, not, uh, take the exam and get that exam under your belt. Also, uh, I do want you to know that I have a separate YouTube video that goes over a whole entire list of just the uh, Azure certifications. So keep that in mind that um, you can watch that video as well. That's in my uh, description of this uh, video right now. If you look in the description, you can see a link to that. So if you want to know the top, my top 10 Azure certifications you should get, uh, you'll see that in the description. Okay. So the AZ 900, that is highly recommended that you get that certification. It's a great foundation for Azure. Moving into number nine. Now, as we move into number nine, uh, I do want to say one quick thing. Uh, right now, every one of my courses are on sale at examlabpractice.com slash courses. If you visit that, all the links automatically have a coupon code associated with those. You can get every one of my courses for a discount right there on examlabpractice.com slash courses. You can see my newest courses and every one of my courses below that. Uh, there and pretty much every single course on this list except one uh, I have recorded a course for or every every single exam on this list except for one I have recorded a course for and I will be recording a course for that exam coming up as well so you'll see what that is here in a minute also um, if you'll please give me a like and a subscribe as you can see on the screen only a very small percentage of people are actually subscribed that watch these videos and in order for me to, to put the time into these videos I gotta I gotta have subscribers for people to find the videos I would really love it if you'd give me a, a, a like and a subscribe it helps the uh, YouTube algorithm out fi uh, for people finding these videos also I give away a couple of my courses free every month so if you uh, usually every month if you will Click that notification bell. It will notify you when I'm doing that, when I'm giving away the the free courses, and you can get uh, some of my courses free. All right. So number nine, here we go. SC900. So the SC900 is the fundamental foundation for Microsoft 365 security. This is the uh, place you want to start when you want to get into Microsoft 365 security. This is a, a great place to start. So especially if you've done the AZ900 or any of that, you... The uh, SC900 is going to get you into security, grabbing that foundation. And um, uh, th I'm not saying this is the higher the priority. That's why it's kind of high up on the list, but it's a good one to get. It's definitely a great one to put on a resume because it's a fundamental one. You pass one exam, you get the certification, you got it, and it's a great one for a resume. Number eight, SC400. Okay, so with the SC400, this is a this is a more intense security exam. Also, I have a recommendation. If you look in the upper left hand corner, it is recommended that you take the SC900 exam and the SC300 exam first. The SC300 exam is coming up in my list here shortly. So um, it's a little lower on the list here. You'll see it actually coming up. But um, the SC400 is all about Microsoft purview, data loss prevention, information protection, data lifecycle management, record management, privacy risk, compliance. It's a lot about compliance. Okay, you, you probably want to have that SC900 because that gives you the fundamentals of security. And then the SC300, as you're going to see, gives you a lot of the more intermediate uh, general 
understanding of security. So the SC300 you'll find is sort of like the next level up after the SC900. It's the intermediate level of uh, security when it comes to Microsoft 365. And then the SC400 is more focused on the uh, dealing with your company's data, data loss prevention, information protection. You'll be learning how to protect your company's data with Microsoft 365 apps, Exchange Online, SharePoint, OneDrive Teams, all of that, okay? So that is the SC400, okay? Number seven, SC300, okay. So the SC300, it's recommended that you'll notice in the upper left-hand left, uh, upper left -hand corner of the screen, it's recommended you take the SC900 first as the foundation. You don't have to do that. And, and you'll find that majority of my courses, the way I design those courses, is so that you can actually take them as standalone. Even if you did not take the foundation, you can still take those courses. But this is just a, my recommendation. I would recommend you take SC900 before taking SC300. Okay, so the SC300, this is sort of your, your uh, next level up after SC900. SC900 is a beginner. Uh, this is intermediate. And uh, it gives you the general understandings of pretty much everything about security when it comes to Microsoft 365. All right, so this would be uh, my number seven. You get an identity and access management, dealing with uh, managing and securing your users and groups and all of that stuff, intra-ID, formerly known as Azure AD, PowerShell, all that fun stuff, all right? My number six, SC200. Now, you definitely probably want to take the SC300 and 400 before you take the 200. It's getting more advanced. This is upper intermediate, so you're getting close to the expert level with this. Um, this is considered intermediate, but it's upper intermediate. So um, you definitely would probably want to take SC300 or 400 first. Now, like again, with the way I've designed my SC200 course, it is designed in a way that you could take it standalone. Even if you did not take 300 and 400 first, you could still take my 200 course and do just fine. But I would recommend taking 300 and 400 first. Okay. You can't go by the numeric values. Uh, you wouldn't take SC100, 200, 300, 400, and then take 900 last. That would not be a good idea. Uh, 200, probably after you take 300 and 400, okay? So this gets into dealing with security operations and an uh, analyst. You're rapidly remediating uh, active attacks, advising on improvements. You're dealing with violations of organizational policies. You're learning how to triage and deal with incident response, vulnerability management, threat hunting. There's a lot here, and it's a pretty big course, but people are so far loving it, and I think you will too if you check out that course. And then, of course, this exam, you'll be able to knock that exam out. All right. Number five, the SC100. Now, this is expert level, so you would not want to take this exam until you've taken the SC200. Okay. So recommendation, take that SC200 first. Now this is the one that I currently do not offer a course for. There are courses out there, so I do give props to the other Udemy instructors out there. But um, currently I do not have a course as of January 2024. Now I do plan to release a course on this. It is coming, okay? I don't have a, a, a time period on when I'll release that. But you can always check out examlabpractice.com slash courses, and you can see if you're watching this video a little after the fact, you can always check to see if I have released it yet, okay? But uh, as of January 2024, I have not released it, okay? So this is SE100. It is the expert level. You definitely want to know your stuff before you take this one. Um, it is not for the faint of heart. And it is a, definitely a difficult exam. You really got to know your stuff. You're, you're an expert at identity devices, data, securing identity devices, data, application, network infrastructure, DevOps, dealing with governments, governance and risk, uh, risk compliance, security operations, posture management. Um, you are somebody who has lots of experience in dealing with uh, implementing, administering identity and access management, platform protection, security operations, data security, application security, hybrid multi-cloud infrastructure, all that stuff. Okay, so that moves us on to number four, and here we are on the MS-900. Now, if you really want my opinion, like who of this whole entire list, like if, if you are an utter beginner, where do you start? The MS-900. The AZ-900 and the MS-900 would be the, the starting point. Uh, and then maybe the SC-900 next. 
okay? But the MS900 is the starting point for somebody who's just brand new to, to Microsoft 365. So this would be where you would want to start, all right? Um, you could have absolutely no experience whatsoever and jump right into this, take the course, study, pass the exam, no problem. Okay, it's one exam, get the certification, put it on your resume, and there you go, all right? So that is the MS 900. You're just going to learn the general foundation for Microsoft 365, okay? So number three, the MS 700. The MS 700 is the Microsoft Teams Administrator certification. It is recommended that you have taken the MS 900 before you take this exam. You do want to have a foundation of the uh, Microsoft 365, but as always, I have designed my MS 700 course in a way that you could take it standalone even if you did not take the MS 900. But you're going to be learning all about Teams, how Teams phone numbers works, and managing users with Teams, the networking side of it, identity, licensing, information management, user adoption, all of that stuff is going to be included in this course, and uh, you should do just fine on it if you take it, all right? That brings us into number two, the MS-102. All right, now this is expert on Microsoft 365, um, so there is a couple things there. You should probably have taken the MS-900, but you're going to want to take the MD-102, which spoiler alert is going to be my number one the md102 but ms102 is expert level of microsoft 365 and uh, not for the faint of heart you're you're working with the expert of all the functions as integrated with hub for microsoft 365 workloads coordinating across multiple microsoft 365 workloads you're you'll be able to work and design architecture when it comes to microsoft 365 and uh, working with developers and, and all of that stuff is going to be involved in the MS-102. Also, you do have to meet a prerequisite for that, which um, there are various prerequisite exams that you could take. The one that I recommend is my number one, which is the MD-102. The MD-102 is an intermediate level exam, and uh, it can actually stand on its own feet. You could actually take this as a beginner um, but it is an intermediate level exam. The way I've designed my courses for somebody that even if they didn't take the MS-900, they could jump right in and take this. Uh, this is sort of, if you want to know, a lot of times people say, well, what's the equivalent of like the MCSA back in the day for somebody that's like a Microsoft administrator that's going to be dealing with on-premise devices as well as maybe starting to learn in the cloud? This is the one. And if you're somebody that's dealing with imaging or in Intune, dealing with MDM, mobile devices, and things like that, this is the certification for you. This is um, sort of your jack-of-all-trades admin, and uh, you're going to be learning Windows 10, Windows 11, things like that here. The latest Windows operating system, Windows 12, when that comes out, um, that's what you're going to be learning here. This is a very sought-after certification. It is a great certification to have on a resume. Okay, so you definitely want to check that one out. All right. Well, that is my top 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like and a subscribe. Don't forget, all my courses are discounted right now on examlabpractice.com slash courses. Better get discounts before they expire. Uh, again, examlabpractice.com. And again, anytime I run discounts, they're always going to be on examlabpractice.com slash courses. The Udemy coupon code is already linked in the links that are on that site. Again, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.